It has been reported in the Daily Mail that a Hong Kong-based Japanese venture capital company called Deep Knowledge recently appointed a robot called Vital to sit on its board of directors to predict investment trends. Vital has the same right and privileges as other board members in the company, but it is the first robot in the world to be appointed to this position. Wow, Professor, I thought that robots were only known for speed and accuracy, not this type of work. If we cannot make decisions as fast and as intelligent as a robot, does that mean that we won't have jobs when we graduate in the future? Professor, how can we deal with such a challenge? That's a great question. Business innovation is accelerating all over the world. We need to understand the underlying factors that lead to these changes. We've just witnessed the beginning of a knowledge revolution. In the past decade, we have had the information revolution, but that is still about automation, regardless of whether that is in an office or in a factory. Information is often structured and formatted and can be processed by rules and formalities. Knowledge, on the other hand, is often unstructured, scattered, implicit, and embedded in actions people take. We know very well how to manage information, but we are still learning how to manage and create knowledge which is considered to be the principal resources for future organizations. Thanks to the printing invention, information has spread extensively worldwide. People have access to information in the form of, for example, books, magazines, papers, etc. With the use of computers, a huge amount of information can be processed, even when the volume is growing exponentially. However, such processing is limited to only static and explicit knowledge. Over the years, although various ICT tools have been developed to store, organize, and reuse information, we still need human brains to integrate and make sense of such information in order to create value. The more brains we can connect, the more powerful our decisions and resulting actions can be. As a transdisciplinary field, Knowledge management is not just concerned with preserving past knowledge, but also the social and technological processes involved in generating and creating new knowledge. Such processes are often associated with rapid generation of a huge amount of data. That is why we also need to understand big data and to recognize it normally resides in a cloud environment. Research services from IDC has projected by 2020 the size of the digital universe will reach 40 zettabytes. The sources will be websites, web blogs, sensors, and social media. Big data will challenge the way we generate new knowledge, the way that we identify causal relationships, and teach us how to dispense with exactness and use approximations. The massive amount of data, connections, structured and structured information, and knowledge in the cloud has offered us new paradigms for decision making. For example, we can analyze for cause and effect, we can discover hidden knowledge and relationships, and we can execute quick decisions with approximated data. These paradigms and more will have a profound effect on the way that we think and make sense of the world. Wow, you mean a robot vital has embedded all this intelligence and has access to all the data it needs to draw on. That's why it can make fast accurate and intelligent decisions. If you want to know more about knowledge management, knowledge revolution, open link data, big data, as well as cloud services, sign up for this course. We use many examples and cover many applications and case studies. These you will find very interesting. Professor, but I do not have a computing background. Can I still take this course? Would I understand what it is about? Well, don't worry. This course is not designed just for IT professionals. We deliver all concepts at the business and application levels. In fact, in the course, we cover an overview and introduction to skills and knowledge required for knowledge workers in designing new and innovative business services. These are the learning outcomes. Number one, understand the role of knowledge management practitioners in creating value. Number two, be familiar with the techniques and tools for capturing, processing, 
classifying and organizing knowledge. Number three, appreciate how to analyze large quantities of knowledge using analytics. Number four, grasp the role of social media and technologies in innovating new business services. And finally, number five, apply the principles you have learned to company-based business projects. This course will be delivered by the following four specialists. Come join us and start the knowledge revolution yourself.